subtitled How I Lost 250 Pounds and Stopped Trying to Earn God's Favor. Teresa, welcome to the program. Thanks so much. So 250 pounds, I saw the, the photo uh, on the back cover, and then you also have photos uh, inside. Uh, that was quite an undertaking. Um, why don't you tell us and tell our uh, listeners and those who are watching online uh, a little bit about the, the struggle that you uh, embarked on? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like I always, uh, I always felt like I was fat, but I look back at my pictures as a kid growing up, and I really wasn't that overweight. I wasn't a chubby kid, but um, I was just like one or two grades uh, larger than everybody else, if you know what I mean. When I was in third grade, I looked like a fifth grader, and so I felt, you know, out of place and overweight and that kind of thing. And I, I don't know, just as I went through my life, um, I, I just continued to gain weight, and especially when I got out on my own and got married, and it seemed like that's when I really started putting on weight because I could eat whatever I wanted and that kind of thing. A lot of a lot of things played into it, I believe, as I was growing up. The the whole idea of comfort food and some of those kind of things um, really really had a part in it. But um, the basic bottom line is, I when I got to be, uh, I'd say, um, in 1999, when um, I went to I was in the hospital for uh, they said I needed a, a mitral valve. Uh, replacement. My weight was 430 pounds, um, and it, it had just all of a sudden, it just seemed like, of course, I had struggled all my life, wanting, losing weight, gaining weight, going on diets, every kind of thing, and yet I never could get over some kind of uh, pull towards sweets and breads and those kind of things. And, you know, all of a sudden I look at it and I'm like, okay, how did I get here? And that was, uh, it was a real wake-up call at that point in time because the doctor came in and said, um, your heart is too big, or your, your body is too big for your heart. Your heart was never designed to, um, to pump, pump blood for a body of your size and you need to lose weight or you'll be dead in five years. And so that was a wake-up call, and, and kind of the real journey started at that point in time. We're talking to Teresa Shields Parker. Uh, her book about her story here that she's talking about is called Sweet Grace, A Weight Loss Memoir, subtitled How I Lost 250 Pounds and Stopped Trying to Earn God's Favor. So the doctor tells you what you already knew, right, <laughs> basically, yeah. that uh, you're way overweight and you're putting too much stress on your heart and he he was so blunt as to tell you you'll be dead in five years if you don't if you don't change uh so so what happened and and how does your your christian uh, faith play into this yeah you know um the subtitle of um you know um how i uh, stopped trying to earn god's favor plays into it kind of like when I when I was overweight, I knew I was overweight. And even back in 1977, when uh, the first time that I put put in my journal where I really prayed about my weight issue um, and asked God, how do I get rid of this mountain of flesh? And at that time, I probably, I, I don't think I even weighed 300 pounds at that point, but I was gaining weight and I was distressed about it. And God gave me a plan. He said, stop eating sugar, eat more meats, eat more lean meats, eat more fruits and vegetables, and stop eating so much bread. And so I wrote that in my journal, and I just, and when I wrote it, I remember just dismissing it because I couldn't do the first thing. I couldn't stop eating sugar. I just, it was just like this overwhelming pull towards, towards the sugar. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where, I might eat supper, and um, we might have a dessert, you know, brownies, say, and um, there would be half a pound of brownies left of, after after supper was over, and I wouldn't be hungry, but I I couldn't leave them. I couldn't I couldn't not eat them. So 
It was like it was like the sugar addiction had taken over my life, and um, so through the years, God would tell me, you know, when I would get to the end of my rope, and and He would give me this plan, and I would totally dismiss it. But when I really went through the the whole, um, you know, trying to lose and trying to lose and and not being able to and and I would or I would lose. I'm a pretty good dieter. I can lose weight. It's just that I hadn't set my sights for a lifestyle change. I would lose. I could lose a hundred pounds, and then I would um, I would gain it back plus more. Once I lost, once I hit my goal, it would be like, oh great, celebrate. And now I would just go back to it. So um, I eventually got to the point where I. I had tried every diet, I had tried everything, and so um, the cardiac surgeon also told me I needed gastric bypass surgery. I didn't want to do that. It was like um, I heard a lot of bad things about it, but I eventually did do that, But and I lost weight, and then as soon as I could start eating sugar again, I did that. I started eating sugar again, and I started gaining weight again, and I was back up to the morbid obesity category, and I realized now I have ruined myself, essentially. I have tried every single thing known to man to, to eradicate this issue, and it hasn't helped. So, you know what? I went back to what God had told me originally, and I realized, okay, if this is God's plan, then, and if alcoholics can get free of alcohol, by stopping drinking alcohol, maybe I can get free of of this uh, pull towards sugar by stopping eating sugar. And so I started that journey. Mm. I just I just started walking so, towards it, and with God's help. And it seemed like the minute I I made that decision that I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it for the rest of my life, and I don't know if it's possible or not. But what else do I have besides doing what God has already told me to do? Teresa, we got about and, we got a couple minutes left here. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, you know, so so how much how much do you weigh today? I weigh about 167 pounds. So you lost from 430 down to 160. 67, yeah. Now, did you yeah. was it a combination of exercise and getting off the sugar addiction? Yes, it was. Um, and prayer, and have, prayer, <laughs> a lot of prayer. And, pr- yeah. and being on my face and listening to God when he tells me. And, you know, when I, and not being so scared about when when you um, make a mistake, when you get off of the path to to repent and get right back on again, because that was an issue in the how past. Do you, how do I, you? Excuse me, how do you exercise when you weigh so much? That's what I, I'm curious. You know, when people get yeah. that big, they can't move, you know? Yeah. You know, we have this wonderful indoor pool at, in our town, and I love it, and I go there, and I walk in the water. And okay. I do that still, even at my weight, but at, when I, you know, when I was large, too, that, yeah. that was what really helped. That, that right. took pressure off your knees and gotcha. joints. That's a great idea, yeah. great great recommendation. So uh, how do people get your book, and how do they uh, access your website? Sure. Uh, my website is TeresaShieldsParker.com. It's P-E-R-E-S-A-S-H-I-E-L-D-S, Parker, P-A-R-K-E-R.com. And the book is on the website. There's a, there's a box there that you can click. Okay. It's also a free chapter that you can download. It's called the book, book is called Sweet Grace: A Weight Loss Memoir by our guest uh, Teresa Shields Parker. And again, go to Teresa Shields with an S Parker dot com for all the information. You can order a book from Teresa there and uh, check check her story out. Teresa, uh, we're so happy for you and uh, new life and and obviously. You're here to give glory to the Lord for helping you, um, you know, helping you along the life's path. We all have our struggles, and yours was weight, and you got it under control through the grace of God and through your hard work and uh, dedication. Thank you, Teresa. Appreciate it. Thank you.